Now, the widow of a man killed by a huge wave hitting a cruise ship during last week's storms has criticised the ship as badly maintained. Helen Swinstead said her husband James died almost instantly when water crashed through a window. Her comments came as the Defence Secretary said troops would be involved at an earlier stage in future storms and floods as politicians and public health officials start to take stock of the fallout from the extreme weather. Repairs were underway today after a tragic end to a holiday that will be remembered for all the wrong reasons. Windows on the Marco Polo were shattered by huge waves during the worst of Friday night's weather. Passengers, including 85-year-old James Swinstead, were in the ship's Wardorf restaurant at the time. His wife spoke to journalists as she left the docks at Tilbury today. It was quite dreadful. I was sitting next to him and this window just came in and the sea with it and I was very well we were all very very wet I think a woman was taken to hospital and my husband was going to go on the helicopter but he died before they could get him on it she now wants answers I think the ship is improperly maintained otherwise it had come from Madeira I think before we got on it in January and they had bad storms then and there's so much paint on the outside, you probably can't see the rust because they just slop some more on whenever you, we get to port. The ship's operators, cruise and maritime voyages, said the Marco Polo had undergone stringent and rigorous surveys and regular inspections. It insisted the safety and comfort of passengers would always be of paramount importance. The sun may have been shining today, but the misery continues for flood victims in the Thames Valley, with dirty water still a daily hazard. Fill it up and tell me what's in it. On Channel 4 News on Friday, a microbiologist agreed to analyse the flood water in the Thames Valley. He gave us his verdict today. Here we have the sample that we took at Chertsey. The amount of E. coli-like bacteria was found to be 500 times higher than normal levels. Even our expert didn't expect that. The water was much dirtier than we would have ever imagined. It's heavily contaminated. And surprisingly, most of the contamination seems to be directly from fecal bacteria, so essentially animal feces washing down off the land. The water should have been diluted quite a bit by all the recent rainfall. And here, despite all this rainfall, the numbers of bacteria have been absolutely constant since the end of January. This water is more dirty than dangerous, according to the experts, and the levels here in Raysbury have gone down slightly. But the flooding here is likely to remain a problem for people living here for weeks to come. In an admission of sorts, the Defence Secretary has said in a future such crisis, the army would be involved at an earlier stage. We offered um, troops quite a long while ago to civil authorities um, who wanted them. What we've done over the last uh, 10 days is, is push them a bit more aggressively at those civil authorities. And I think the uh, putting uh, military liaison officers into the gold commands so that they're embedded in the system um, has been a major uh, step forward. And I think probably we'll want to make sure in future that we do that at a very early stage. Any chink in the government's armour will be welcomed by Ed Miliband. He's accused the Prime Minister of sleepwalking into a national security crisis by giving up the fight against climate change.